Well, good morning on this Tuesday of the sixth week of uh, the Easter season. Only a week and a half or so until Pentecost and the end of the season. You know, a couple of times over the past couple of weeks, I've on uh, YouTube or someplace heard somebody complaining about being here at this time and wishing that they were someone else, somewhere else. And in thinking about that a little bit, um, I ran across what I thought was a really good quote, which uh, was, Did you know that not only did God create each one of us, but he put us in this world, in these times, and in a particular place of his choosing? None of this is by chance or error. We don't always have to be happy where we are, but this is where we are. And so in thinking about that a little bit, I happened to run across my copy of the old uh, Baltimore Catechism, and there's one, that was a question and answer catechism for those that uh, you may have never seen it. Um, and one of the questions is, why did God make you? So why did God make us? Well, God made us to know him, to love him, to serve him in this world, and to be happy with him forever in heaven. I think that's a really good way to think about it. We're here to serve our Lord. Let's love our Lord to love our neighbor as ourselves, and to hopefully and, and truly believe that we're going to be with him forever in heaven. Now we all have different ways of doing that, but we know, we know that what God wants us to do is what we've been hearing from the church and hearing from the scriptures and hearing from our parents and thinking about most of our lives. And so we all have different ways that we try to live out that. And I wanted to share with you a prayer that I've used for years because I think it kind of tells you what to do and kind of gives you a good idea of what you might look at each day and try to, to live this way. So it's uh, called the Universal Prayer, and it's a prayer by Pope Clement XI. He was, pope, uh, he was made Pope in 1700. So it's a few years old, but it's really solid. So let me read it to you. Lord, I believe in you. Increase my faith. I trust in you. Strengthen my trust. I love you. Let me love you more and more. I'm sorry for my sins. Deepen my sorrow. I worship you as my first beginning. I long for you as my last end. I praise you as my constant helper. And I call on you as my loving protector. Guide me with your wisdom. Correct me with your justice. Comfort me with your mercy, and protect me with all your power. I offer you, Lord, my thoughts to be fixed on you, my words to have you for their theme, my actions to reflect my love for you, my suffering to be endured for your greater glory. I want to do what you ask of me, in the way that you ask, because you ask. Lord, enlighten my understanding, strengthen my will, purify my heart, and make me holy. Help me to repent of my past sins and to resist temptation in the future. Help me to rise above my human weaknesses and to grow stronger as a Christian. Let me love you, my Lord and my God, and see myself as I really am, a pilgrim in this world, a Christian called to respect and love all of those lives I touch, those in authority over me and those under my authority, my friends and my enemies. Help me to conquer anger with gentleness, greed with generosity, apathy by fervor. Help me to forgive myself and reach out towards others. Make me prudent in planning, courageous in taking risks. Make me patient in suffering and unassuming in prosperity. Keep me, Lord, attentive at prayer, temperate in food and drink, diligent in my work, and firm in my good intentions. Let my conscience be clear, my conduct without fault, my speech blameless, and my life well-ordered. Put me on guard against my human weaknesses. Let me cherish your love for me, keep your law, and come at last to your salvation. Teach me to realize that this world is passing, that my true future is the happiness of heaven, that life on earth is short and life to come eternal. Help me to prepare for death with a proper fear of judgment, but a greater trust in your goodness. Lead me safely through death to the endless joy of heaven. And grant all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
So as we go through the rest of the Easter season, let's remember that we're made to know God, to love Him and to serve Him in this world, and to always be happy with Him in the long run, in eternity. So may the Lord bless you, protect you from all evil, and bring you to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.